I tend to uh, draw things out, probably because I can draw, but, and a lot of times the free piecing on the machine especially can be done without any sketch if you get good at it. But in the beginning it's a good idea to just give yourself an idea and keep it handy in your mind um, so you know what you're trying to do. Uh, my method is a little bit different than other people's maybe. It's kind of a combination between free piecing and planning. But basically I start with a base. Now, this can be a solid color, but I thought I would mention that to make things more interesting, especially when you're dealing with a figure, the landscape idea is a great arrangement to put your figure in a setting. And all I've done here is sewn a few pieces of fabric together, maybe to represent sky and, and earth. And I've pressed the seam, seams outward. Pressing the seams outward is a key thing um, on, a, on a quilt that you want to embellish because you don't want any extra thickness. So I've started with a base that's actually pieced. And what I've done is I, I'm working with my um, triangle, my crop triangle base. And I've simply just drawn the size of the figure I want to start with, including the um, seam allowance that I'm going to need. And all I want to do now is just, and I've cut a piece to match that because that's really the piece I'm going to insert. So I'm just going to place that wherever I want it. I could put it down here. I could, put, I could, I could skew it a little bit, but I'm going to place it right in the middle, um, not too close to the existing seams so that I have room. And really to start with, all I'm going to do is First I'm going to pin this in place. And I've used a little bit of a heavier paper, but you can use tracing paper or anything else you've got on hand. And I work in horizontal bands, and I'll gradually grow up, uh, um, I'll work up to a more complex type of pattern, but I start by drawing with one of these, I have a pit pen, but anything that's not going to bleed, and I basically make the horizontal line on the top and the bottom of my figure. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually just trace the edge, it's not going to work over the pin, trace the edge between those two lines. Now you don't have to be really exact here. Things shift and actually that's kind of the fun of this skewed method. Okay, I'm going to take my piece off and what I have here is the shape of this drawn and I have a line that's going to represent where I'm going to cut. So I'll take this off and just with a shear or a rotary cutter, whichever you prefer, you're going to cut on those lines. And leave the pieces sitting where they are so you can keep track of what you're doing. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. And now you've got your plan, but it's cut apart. Now you're going to take this piece out and save it for later and put this piece in. And you're, you'll work in horizontal bands. Now this is your key section. So all you're going to do is flip this over, right sides together, pin it, and now you'll either hand sew or machine sew that seam. Now if you're hand sewing and you're nervous about sewing straight, you can take your straight edge and draw yourself a line before you sew. And after that one's sewn, you're going to do the same thing with this edge, this one. Okay, I've gone to the machine and sewed these three pieces together, and I have pressed the seams outward. Again, after every sewing, I press the seam outward. And as you can see, it's become a little smaller. Things shift and change size slightly, but that, it's, this is not an exact science, but you get the idea. Now that you've got this done, all you need to do is to flip your top section 
down and do the same thing, stitch and press open and then you'll take your bottom section and stitch and press open. So now, that you, now you've actually got your basic home base where your figure is this, your center shape and you'll be able to uh, play with that. The f first thing I want to talk about is you can see since there's more seams here this has come in more than this so that's going to happen. You can always go back and and trim it up if you want uh, with a with a rotary cutter or you can leave it ragged for the time being or cut it with a straight scissor and now what you're what you're going to be thinking about doing is uh, you know maybe adding some some things to make it look a little bit like a beast maybe some ears maybe some wings maybe a moon. We'll see.